And Kenny is Stanislav Nedkov, 12-0 with one no contest. That came in his last fight against Thiago Silva. And despite gassing late, man, he had a lot of moments, a lot of shining moments against Thiago Silva. And now he's repeating 20 pounds down here at above 85. Yeah, it's a powerful, powerful guy here. And now, like you said, fighting at 185 pounds, I think it's a, a better weight class for him. It'll be easy. If he can carry that power over at 185 pounds, he's going to be a tough guy to beat. Now, he calls himself a complex condition fighter. The one thing we didn't really see on display against Thiago Silva was his conditioning. So I think the big question for a lot of fight fans here tonight is, has he addressed that part of the game after clearly gassing down the stretch against the Brazilian Silva? Yeah, you know, assuming his weight cut went well, uh, you know, I think it's going to serve him well. You have to be in better shape to cut, cut that way, to beat 185 pounds, but you have to work harder on his conditioning. Uh, he's going to have to carry as much muscle. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're going to find out if this is a good move or not. But, uh, again, the power that he had at 205 pounds was amazing. At 185 pounds, this guy's going to be dangerous. Stanislav Metcalf, the second Bulgarian to fight in the UFC, the first to win inside the octagon. You can tell me the first Bulgarian right now about the UFC. I'll give you a C-note, but I don't think you know his name. I remember he was a wrestler, though. I do remember he that. He was a wrestler. Jordan Vadev, I believe, was his name. Look at you. Well, it's on my note card. I mean, it's certainly not. <laughs> Cheap -cheap. Yeah, I don't like that. So, Stanislav Metcalf, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and we mentioned the first Bulgarian to win in the UFC, and he really did it with style points. Went into Brazil and knocked out Luis Kane in the first round. And trying to replicate that form here tonight in hostile territory against Tom Watson.